welterweight title is still hunter on shoring up his defense and balance action against the very tough louis colazzo he was hoping to be in the main event but instead has to settle for the consolation prize in what will be an audition for a future big time colazzo tonight three-year-old grandpa is on the cusp of the biggest win of his career should he get past amir khan in our co-feature tonight said as you meant well he looks like exchange is meaning you don't want to sometimes you want to get your cover kind of lost to a left right against the lefty up pointed back in july of 2011 that i've never been a puncher in my career and it would be wrong for me to think because of that both guys looking at gaining advantage of good right hands there by 17 of cons 19 knoppages while palazzo has three first round ko's and about 30 oh. seconds Khan boxing carefully on the outside of him. Mir Khan is Fazo looking for his first win in Las Vegas, having previous career against Edwin Cassiani 12 years ago, April of 2. 15 seconds left in the round, and Khan delivers. Smart veteran move. And they know that it will be a daughter who will be born at welterweight and welcoming the birth of his first child. But Colazzo, a very tough out as they are in close punches. And he gets tagged with a right hand from Khan. Another right hand. And be frustrated. Colazzo's got to be careful there. And part of oh, the Khan moving to his right is to stay away from the right hook. As good a puncher with the left hand as he has the right hook. Catching Colazzo again with the right hand, holding onto his arm, however, again, a veteran move that referee Dracula is just letting him get away with. Yeah, a lot of holding by Amir. <laughs> Colazzo tried to un un get the hook going by Khan. Khan doesn't like the, the view. <laughs> Lead left hook and overhand right and left. Colazzo turning right handed here. And Khan doing a good job defensively of the final minute of round two. Colazzo switching but getting caught in the switches, so this isn't working so well for him. Wanting to work. A terrific start for Amir Khan in his first fight. Colazzo fight this long as a righty. Eats another left hook. All one way traffic here for Amir Khan. Finally, Colazzo goes. Good start for the youngest British fighter ever to win an Olympic medal, Amir Khan at 147. Amir Khan had a very good round for himself. The right hand has been a very important land. This is Colazzo squares himself up. Look how square he is to Amir Khan. And he made it easy, and, and we see where he is, and how that right hand was able to get in. So, tactical error by the picking the right shots of us, just working on new things, make a stance, and... But to his right, the opposite way, and we move that way. Of course, Colazzo wants... Well, Khan's made that part easy for him, but he's been so effective even with that. Oh, and there's... Effective, and it's done it several times, double double's landed. Couple of precision. soon about whether to penalize Khan for holding so much work there with a free hand. Just close the clinch and reset. Smart on his part. There he goes again. He's a heavyweight who of course has some holding and uh, Khan dominating uh, this bout with his very one-sided stat. Getting off. He's got to get, he's got to find a way to stalk and get the punches off as well. Continue that holding. It's been a uneven and wide with his punches to to get it off the way he likes. Creating the offense again. So we are through three rounds here at the MGM Grand and Jim Gray standing by with Iron Mike. Right, Chavez like a hundred and up. Chavez got behind. He got set 97 and up. Floyd leaves 46. No Mike, that. always great to be with you. Always with you too, Jim. Mo? Colazzo goes down. As, has, as Khan was blocking our view here. But... Khan all. Colazzo goes down for the first time since October of 2000. Great 
hearing from Mike Tyson as Colazzo now executes a combination and uh, enjoyed visitations to our Pauli Malinacci. And you know, the comment in this fight has oh, been fun. The Amir Khan, the combination punching and the way very good. Conversely, Pauli, you know Colazzo better than anyone here as he now goes to work on him. See him do different to make adjustments. Uh, all the work. And then Khan gets off first. And he's well, done a much yeah. first. It's important if you're going to stalk your opponent when you reach him that he doesn't get off before you. So it's not going to. Fourth in the final minute now of this. Adventures in the ring. And holding your breath. Will he get hurt by something? And Colazzo is starting to land meaningful punches. Colazzo is walking him down with his yeah. hand down. I mean, now, you never know what you're going to get. But here we're getting the, maybe the very best of the round. Colazzo with his hands down, not really respecting to the fourth. Aside from the knockdown, it's been Colazzo's best round. Naji, one of the reasons why you were honored down here in Las Vegas. Well, I'm making that one 10-9, guys. Create a knockdown. Right hand, a very good right hand, and an appropriate call by Vic Dragon. Again, he's squaring himself up, Colazzo. Totally squared up. And he gets oh. nailed with a very, very good right hand. Colazzo's head just twisting around, and you got to give Louis Colazzo credit for getting up and not having this impact him. A good short right hand. Oh, you also got to give Khan credit for throwing such a short right hand. I was hand, going to say, was not a lot of room short there. right. And Khan was able to get some leverage up. Round four. A beautiful short straight right hand as Colazzo squared himself. Colazzo spent two and a half weeks in Atlanta where he's trained for the training goes back in New York City. He's in touch here against Amir Khan as they go toe to toe to kick off the fifth. Hey! For the Khan, let's not forget he got points taken out under the eye of uh, Khan, is it right? Mm -hmm. always, uh, That's right. Well, I'm sure that Colazzo, given the opportunity, it's Lamont Peterson, one for pushing. And, and it's, he does it in small. It's smart on his part, or hold you like he's doing here. Smart on his part. It's not his job to enforce the rules. It's the referee, the referee telling Colazzo when I flashing the jab. Colazzo again with his hands down. In fights he did well in. Oh, he thinks that. Well, that was right and left uh, hand made an impact on his face from Amir Khan. From Lee Colazzo. Lead left hand. There's a common down con. From a game plan perspective, a tactical game plan from him and Virgil Hunter. Pretty close round, so. An not cutting off the ring and Khan coming forward now and again. Rough and tumble affair on the inside. Right hand by Khan. And now Colazzo with the right hand behind the guard. We're going to the sixth round here in Sin City. Brian Kenny, the main event. Unified Mayweather and Marcos Maidana. And Virgil Hunter told us something, guys, at the fighter meeting. He said that and something that will serve him well in his future. There's a right hand and a left hook by Khan. Colazzo comes back and manages to connect with that right hand behind the guard. If there's a punch that Colazzo's going to make a big impact with and hurt Khan, it's, and he has a, landed a few, but not the way he wants to. Volume here, Pauly. Yeah, pick up the pace here. One thing I've noticed on Khan's defense, he's bending down a little more than we've seen him in the past. A lot of times he had that European style where he just stays straight up and he looks out. It's probably something they've worked on in the gym in terms of an extra escape route. Oh. Khan down, but not effective at least. On defense employed, there's a left uppercut followed by the right hand. Smothers. There it is again. It like instigating all of that. Some of you. Uh, if I Amir fought, I fought Amir Khan happen. myself, yeah. and yeah. Uh, I saw the Lamont Peterson fight where he lost points against. He's got a great jab and fast hands. When you finally get close, you feel like you're finally going to be able to do something, and then he holds you or he pushes your head down. And doing right now, you see the faces he's making. He finally gets all the work, does all the work to get in close, and then he, he gets held. And then you said earlier, guys, Khan. Round affair is in the book. Theme in this has been the right hand of Amir again. Palazzo just leaving. How do you think Amir Khan? He's, he's done well. Um, ready to do his job, and you know the game forcing has, has been good and it's worked. Double jab from Colazzo. lands the lead. Lazo doesn't follow up though. He's not a big puncher, and 
He's going to have to make something happen, I think, in terms of power. And the scores on a... Steve, you have uh, the biggest margin for Amir Khan. Yeah, I think you could throw the... This is as a fighter, it's his chin. Uh, and Koyaza will have a chance to win because of that chin, even if he's way behind on the cards. Oh, right hand from Khan. Work. And just fighter. And again, that's from finally you get to him. You finally feel like you got him where you want him. And if he doesn't do anything about it, what happens is you know, it's so difficult to corner him. Overall, than he used to. And that's what Virgil Hunter get him to do. Not tactical, but a lot of times he's abandoned though that he's right. them. Now he's actually sticking. Quick combination by Khan. Very close. Razo's gotten some things done as well. Khan, Colazzo continues to just walk down Khan. He's trying to let him know he's not hurting him, but... I got to say, guys, he wore He kept one the whole night. He hasn't won the once about... Seventh round. <laughs> round. The 15 connects in the last round, according to show stats, was the high... And yet, still in a round that he may not have won. Another low... Oh, and Pauly, your worst nightmares. And you can't sing hell to pushing your head down. You're gonna get broken off. It's gonna be to get back close again. But for, if you, you're being held. Alonzo back in. Khan along the ropes. Khan showing up. Sticks the jab. Follows with the right hand. Wow. Uh. The fight, though. I mean, like I said, sure Amir is does. smart. I mean, if you're gonna get away with it, Amir is smart. Amir's gotten away with it a lot in his And it's very hard to cut distance. I mean, this is where he's king on the outside. It's, just, it's you, when you get close, you finally want to get the work you want to get in. Get inside, you want to finally work, and you can't because you're being held straight in. Because now the ref breaks you, and you're back on the outside, and you have to start all. Look at the power strikes through. This uh, seven rounds, or I guess the running total. When you lower punches, that's spectacular, and that's what Khan has done here. Despite all the rest, he is accurate with his punches tonight. Oh, oh big shot. left. Oh, Khan smiling at him, but... Uh, Palazzo and Amir are telling Khan that if you do it again, I'm taking a point away. He has hurt him. But, uh, Louis got to gotta move his hands. There it is again with the... Uh, Dragon was, was just said, now, Dragon 20 seconds ago. <laughs> 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 oh, good one, too, by Khan. He seems to have his legs back under him good. Palazzo walking in with the lead left hook. The left. Some drink. And the crowd reacting. Oh, a point taken away. Sharp right hand by Khan. To Amir Khan and a point deducted from Colossal Round at number eight. Later in the round after oh, that yeah. left hand had hurt Amir for holding. And Colazzo ripping those left hands. And can't get his arm. So the bell and round number and to summarize the act before Colazzo went down from a right hand, and in the round we just saw, referee Vic Draculich deducting a point for low blows from Colazzo. And, and if you believe, I thought Colazzo won the round. I yeah, gave him the rounds well. Yeah. How we have it scored, and we all had all the things that happened in the last round. That, of course, very unofficial. And we don't know how the judges are seeing it, but Amir Khan has certainly done good work in this fight. Lots of pushing the issue a lot this round now. So I mean, Colazzo getting more and more brave with those big shots now. He's able to get in close, and Amir is not able to hold oh, the sharp combination there by Amir. Yeah, very sharp combination, and now Colazzo comes. The point deduction is on his mind. This fight starting to become with Khan starting to move around this ring and look is on his mind that's why he was languishing inside after the combination there goes to the body followed by a shot upstairs and now Colazzo so potential showdown with Floyd May I'll tell you it's frustrating to fight Khan because he's very good at winning rounds and and that, the big punches and stuff like that if Mayweather knows how to win rounds would be a, you know a, a different kind of opponent only how to win rounds that's and he wins the Right now, Colazzo feels he's another good round. Straight right. Colazzo just walking him down, shoots out the right part of the crowd. A nice escape there by Khan on the ropes. Like I said earlier, he gets down low now off the ropes as well. Khan's landing some. Colazzo avoiding that attack. So another action for Vegas. Count of 10, the advice from. And let me say, you know, we had a, a, we've got those rounds close. And don't, you know, our score rounds that were done the better work in this fight. Already been deducted a point that came in rounds. So was deducted a point for a low blow. 
Again, it's smart though. I mean, Khan doesn't want you in to do what he wants. What shot? Right. I'm holding. Great punch combination by Khan. Sorry, I'll go ahead. Colazzo has never had in a fight if he's going to win this match, probably. If he's behind. Oh, the left hook to the body hurt Colazzo. Good body shot by Khan. And the right and left, and now Khan pouring on the pressure. But Colazzo most benefit Khan to be. He got the better of the exchange. He got the advantage in the round. Right, the body shot him. Yeah. He got it in there. Or make that Colazzo. Nine. Smart on Khan's part. I thought he was resting. What he was doing was jockeying his hands for position so he could shift Colazzo's hands. And Khan sensing. And Colazzo down again. Three, four. And a left hook and a right. Khan on fire here now all over. Louis Colazzo wanting to close the show. But Col Colazzo waiting for him to get on the ropes. Colazzo slippery on the ropes, but Khan should go. Round that definitely belonged to Amir Khan, which is where that body shot, a tremendous left hook by Amir Khan hurt. Luis Colazzo early in the round, and, and Khan, to his everlasting credit, continues to go to the body, then really holding with the left hand, and then blasting away with another to the head of Colazzo. And then later on in the round, Colazzo almost distracted, but gets hit with a punch that hurt him. And then again, there's the right hand that hurts Colazzo, and as he's looking at Vic Dracula gets hit with a left hook that sends him down. And that, yeah, I don't know, I thought he was holding so he can move a couple Roman wrestling. Yeah. His arms. Round 11 beginning, and Colazzo seems to just be very absorbed by what Khan is doing, and Khan getting it. In round four, two more times in round 10. And Khan wanting to, here in his left hook to the body by Khan. Oh. Even though this is, he has shown great combinations and done excellent work to the body. Good combination. Think to that effect. Colazzo eats a couple of jabs. There's a left hook to the body and a left hook upstairs by Khan. And again, we haven't seen two three punch combinations. Not the five. Let me throw a five six punch combination. Let's face it, something's gonna come back at you. So he's been smart. He's known when to get out or when to hold. Possibly taking away a Conner earlier in this fight did that. Good right hand by Colazzo. Lands the left. So good combination there by. Triple jab by Conn. Oh, left upper ground considering he was not. Conn going back to the body intelligently there. Headed to the matchup. A mere three minutes. Welterweight champion Louis Colazzo. And Amir Khan is three and one in 12 rounds. So they have different experience in going this distance. And again, it's tough because. He... Khan taking. Fascinating. At times interesting, at times exciting, at times exemplary. Jab, nice. And the jab and yeah, trying to get out of the round in one piece. Both of them have been marked up. There's the speed on display from Amir Khan. And now Colazzo returns. It's the last half of the 12th round. Yeah, I think he's counting them too. From Louis Colazzo does look exasperated, frustrated, and frankly spared. Khan good shape. Yeah, I think it's more frustration than, than fatigue for Louis Colazzo. In a career that has had a lot kind of that career in microcosm. Yeah, and Cap right cross by Khan. Straight left from Colazzo. So as we uh, wrap things up, a good performance for Amir Khan over a year later. before and this time that was where the low blow was in a very sensitive spot and you know Louis Colazzo a very yeah a very very tough outing for him and uh painful of the jab uh, uh, those scores are